Okay, so what we have here today is we've got an iPad 3G. You can see by the O2 in the top corner, so it's a UK iPad 3G. And we have a mobile broadband, which is five pound a month, one gig a month, one gig a month from Virgin Mobile. We have a micro SIM card cutter, which simply cuts normal SIM cards into micro SIM cards. You can get them on eBay. I got this one for about twelve pounds on eBay. Um, but due to what I'm about to show you, to save on your data contracts, it could save you a lot more than that. I've got a micro SIM back to SIM card converter, which I won't be using, but you do get them free with these SIM card cutters. And then, obviously, we have the SIM ejector tool to eject the SIM on the iPad. So, to begin with, we'll just take out the O2 SIM card for now. So, this is the official micro SIM that comes with the iPad from O2. Okay. Okay, so we've taken the uh, mobile broadband SIM card out of the mobile broadband. That's the Virgin Mobile SIM card. Now, you can probably see that I have already cut this, but it's the same principle. I'll just show you how to do it anyway. Okay, so you, what you do is you take the micro SIM card cutter or a knife. You can use a knife, although it is a lot harder, obviously. Then what we do is you simply cut, squeeze that down, and then you've got the SIM card. You've also got a little cutout which I use as the holder when I want to convert it back or you can alternatively use these adapters now once we've got that we've got the sim card tray I'll do that we've got the sim card tray and then now this sim card fits into it now it will cut some of the contacts but I'll explain that later what, uh, about that okay we can pop this now back into the iPad and initially we will see that it pops up with a one signal bar but no carrier now if you leave it a bit it will pop up saying searching and now once it says searching this process takes a while so I'll just put it back down and I'll show you the next stage okay it says searching it will eventually pick up the carrier now what we want, we want to do from there is we want to go to Safari now what I've done to get to this page it's a APN settings. You need these to get the internet for the carrier you're using for your mobile broadband, your iPhone, uh, SIM card, whatever. Then what we do is this website is called is filesavers.com forward slash gprs.html. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. So we've then got to we've then got all the settings. We've got the O2 GPRS settings, Vodafone. Orange, T-Mobile, 3, Tesco, Virgin. So in this case I want to use Virgin. So I'll just zoom in on that for you. What you need for the iPad is you need the access point. If it's a contract you need, it gives you in brackets on this website. There'll be contract and pay-as-you-go. If you've got a pay-as-you-go iPhone for instance, then you need to choose the pay-as-you-go option for your carrier. Then you, for instance, in this case it's go to dot virgin mobile dot uk so we'll just copy that and then we don't need any of the, anything else apart from the username and password the username is user on this in this case and the password is leave blank so we don't need that so I'll just remember the username so then what we want to do is we want to go back into settings we want to go to cellular data and then we want to find APN settings once we've got into APN settings you'll see that you are shown three fields you've got APN username and password APN is the access point from the website so that that sort of thing that looks like a web page is the access point so I'll just tap in and paste that and then the username is simply user okay let's just pop the keyboard away there we go that's that done now what I'll do is I'll turn off the Wi-Fi and we'll go down to Safari and what we'll do is we'll go to Google as you can see Google's loading OK and there we go that's that's that done now the micro sim card cutter can be found on eBay 
Cost twelve ninety nine. This one. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to find this exactly the same one. They do vary in price quite a lot. Um, I got two of these free SIM card adapters with it, but I don't really find a need for them because when you cut them, you get a quite a nice cutout, which is the original SIM card anyway. So I just tend to use okay. them. You may want to pop the mobile broadband SIM card back into the mobile broadband, and this is very simple as well. All we need to do is we need to take the SIM card back out of the iPad. So we'll just use the SIM ejector tool, get that back out, and. get that out and we just pop the sim card back out then what we want to do is we want to pop that into its holder which I which I got from just cutting it out here then what we want to do is you just simply pop it back in as it was and back into the mobile broadband and then that is the mobile broadband back functioning. Now, one last thing before if we finish. The SIM card itself consists of several contacts on the SIM card. We've got th the contacts that are used are these three here and these three here. Okay? Now, I'll just bring it a bit closer for you contacts that I use are these three here, those three, and those three. This top panel and this bottom panel on the SIM card vary from carrier to carrier. Some carriers put on the bottom panel only and just ignore the top panel. Virgin put on both panels and I know that O2 don't put on any panels. They just leave, they just use the bit that you actually are using. Now, as you can see, this has been cut through the top panel. This does not damage the SIM card at all. If you are using the micro SIM cutter, just trust it. It will cut through, uh, so long as the SIM card is not a funny shape, which it shouldn't be, then it will not cut through the contacts that are used and therefore will not break the SIM card. I was initially skeptical about it, but then I realized that the contacts are you the only contacts that I use are these three here and these three here. You can see by the scratching on the contacts. You can actually see where the the contacts go in. Okay. And that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hopefully get more videos up soon, so please click subscribe at the top of the page. Any questions about uh, getting micro SIM card cutters, worrying about you're going to cut through your SIM card, don't hesitate to comment at the bottom and I'll try and answer them as quick as I can. If you look at my previous videos, I do answer very quickly. Thank you very much. Bye.